Hey, what up y'all, Mr. Cruz here, your friendly neighborhood producer back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a little hack in loop mix that will allow you to recall previously saved sequences. Let's go. So here in Loop Mix, if you have not checked out Loop Mix yet, go hit up Audio Modern. I honestly can't remember, but I think the plugin is like $47 or something like that. If you're an FL user and you're sick and tired of gross beat, this is the one to get. This is like the gross beat killer right here. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. All I know is that for me, I'm probably never using gross beat again. All that to say, I kind of wanted to show a little tutorial on how to utilize this space down here. So these keys down here that correspond to your MIDI controller, I'm gonna show you guys what you can actually do with this and give you like a little in-depth reveal into how you can kind of work these and also a little hack so right now i'm using actually the standalone app so this is not opened up inside of fl studio or anything like that but if you were to open it up in fl studio because truthfully if you're making beats in any other program like you're not a real producer but if you were to open this up in another daw um, the process is still going to be the same so i'm going to keep it to the default bpm but the first thing that you're going to want to do is by default it'll be set to uh syncing with your daw so this this button up here is going to control being able to play it. Now what we want to do is we want to utilize the MIDI controller keys that we see down here. So I'm going to click this one right here. So the key now allows me to play the sequence with my MIDI controller or with my keys. You obviously can't see my MIDI controller, but watch if you see me press it here. So you can kind of see that I'm pressing those keys down there at the bottom. So that's what we're gonna be able to use to trigger our sequence. So right now, if we were to play this, it sounds like this. Um, I'm gonna click this button right here. So this is kind of broken up into three different sections. You have the stems, the sequencer, and remixes. So with stems, if you click any of these keys or if you trigger any of these, this is gonna to correspond to whatever the, the sample track is. So right now, let's say for example, six has nothing on it, right? So if I go and click six, we're not gonna hear anything because it's literally gonna play track six. Five has something on it, so when I click five, it's gonna play only track five. Even though we see uh, number three right here, track three, how this kind of has some of the slices that have been muted or rearranged. Even if I click track three, it's gonna play the entire thing of track three. And up here, we have the effects on and the hold button. With the effects on, what this is gonna do is that it's gonna play any kind of effects that we have here. So if we had changed the density, if we had reversed something, if we had rearranged some of this stuff or changed the volume or the pitch, if we had enabled any of that stuff, it's gonna play it along with playing whatever track you trigger. So for this example, let's go ahead and hit reverse and let's reverse um, this one right here and this one right here. So now with effects on, we're gonna hear the reverses. Ooh, that was fire. If we turn it off, then we'll hear it without the reverses. And hold will pretty much just sustain the entire track even though you lift your finger off of the, the key. So for now, I click it, when I let it go, it'll stop playing. But with hold enabled, when I click it, it's gonna play the entire track. and it'll keep repeating it until you disable hold. So that's how the stems part works. Now with sequence, sequence kind of works the same way that the stems do, except sequence is only gonna play whatever is highlighted. So since in this sequence right now, we have, you know, track one has one, two, three, four parts that are highlighted or four slices that are highlighted and whatnot. Whenever I click track one, it's gonna play the sequence that's in track one as is. So notice that this one doesn't have the effects button because this is gonna play it with effects no matter what. If we click all, we're gonna hear pretty much the sequence as it is. Now we're getting to the money part, right? Remixes. Remixes is where you can save sequences that you have created. So let's say I have this sequence and I really like it and I wanna save it because I might wanna recall it later. So notice that none of these are enabled right now. So I'm gonna click one of them and now when I click C3 or when I press C3 on my keyboard, it's gonna play the sequence that we have right here. Now I'm gonna hit the randomize button and now let's see what this sequence sounds like. Okay, I really like that one. I wanna save that one, so I'm gonna click this one right here. So now when I go back and I press C3, it's that sequence I initially had. When I press uh, C, D, D3, 
And with that, I can kind of recall any of the sequences that I had previously made. So that way you can kind of save them. And this is really good because this corresponds to your DAW. So I can record it. And when I go to record it, I, if I click C3 and D3, um, I can then, you know, take that, bounce that out to an audio and then import that. And now I have two different breakdowns of the same drum loop that I use and I took little to no effort to create. I'm gonna press the clear all button to kind of clear all of that stuff there. Uh, hold will do the same thing that hold does in the other two clear, clear all lock. So what lock does is let's say I like this sequence that I have here. I'm going to save it here. Now I'm going to lock it, locking it means that now whenever I click this button right here, this generate button, it'll completely randomize the sequences that we have down here. So I'm going to click this, but because I locked that first one, that first one's not going to change. But now I have a whole bunch of different sequences here. And then I can kind of mess around, see another one that I like. I might, you know, lock that one and then I can kind of move it so that it's next to this one. And, you know, you can kind of just play around and explore. So anyways, there you guys have it. I just wanted to show you guys how you can utilize the keys that you see at the bottom and how you can use that to trigger certain sequences, save sequences or playback sequences in full. All that being said, make sure you go check out Loop Mix. Hit the link in my description to go download it. That's all that I got for you guys. If you're interested in checking out my other tutorial on Loop Mix, hit this this video right here. Outside of that, it's your boy, Mr. Cruz out.